Field Marshal Lord Montgomery of Alamein at Guildhall, being received by the Lord Mayor. After the ceremony of bestowal of the freedom of the city, the Field Marshal signed the Freeman's Declaration. Incidentally, his name followed the signature of Lord Louis Mountbatten, who was so recently made a Freeman. Then the City Chamberlain offered his address, which he concluded with these words. Fittingly has our honoured guest been described as one of the greatest living masters of the art of war. As the sword of honour was still in the hands of the craftsman, a token sword was presented, after which Monte proceeded to pay a personal tribute to the men he led to victory. I often feel that the British soldier did not, uh, perhaps, receive the publicity he deserved during the war. Much was heard, and rightly heard, very rightly, of the great deeds performed by our Empire brothers and by our Allied friends. And the war could not have been won without them. But amongst those in the forefront, I place the unconquerable figure of the British soldier. <laughs> the man who bought the heaviest burden of the war and carried us all to victory. It is to him that I wish to pay a tribute, for without his exertions, none of us would be here today. And I shall take away with me into the evening of life many impressions, but the one which I shall treasure above all others is the picture of the British soldier, staunch and tenacious in defeat, kind and gentle in victory, the one man to whom the nation owes its heartfelt thanks. On the drive to the mansion house, the field marshal, a lone figure in the carriage, naturally received a tremendous ovation. At the mansion house, a few words to the big crowd that had collected. I am a London man. I was born in London, and I went to school at a big London school, St. Paul's. London men fought with me all the way from Alamein to the Baltic and finished up in Berlin. And while we fought in the field, you fought here in London. And we couldn't have won our victories in the field if you hadn't won your victory and stood firm as a rock in London. In return, this is how Londoners paid tribute to Monty. <laughs>